up this morning in prison in Mountjoy. She's been incarcerated for the last nine and a half weeks. She's the 79-year-old political activist who protested against the use of Shannon Airport by US military planes. Will you please welcome Margareta Darcy. <laughs> Hi, Margareta, how are you? Hello, Brendan, how are you? Good. Um, can I ask you first, because yes. there's, there's been a bit in the papers about your health yes. is not good. How is your health? Well, at my age, we have all bits and pieces going in which shouldn't be there, so it doesn't make any difference whether I'm in jail or out jail. I'm like an old motor car. Right. That's kind of chugging along. Okay, okay. But you're putting a very brave face in it there now. You are, you are suffering from cancer, yes? I am, yes. So I'm going in on Monday for them to be able to check once again if the tumours have grown up. But, you know, they, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Galway Hospital, it's expert care, been going in there for a long time. It's kind of like going home. OK. And prison didn't interfere with treatment or anything like that? You're well, there was no treatment because I was waiting for the uh, hospital appointment, which fortunately came the day after I was released. Right, that was very, that was very handy. It was very it? handy because yeah. I said to the doctor, uh, uh, to my own doctor, I said, oh, I might have to um, go off and have treatment, but I prefer to go to Galway. I don't want to go to the martyr. And uh, he said, oh, well, I don't know. The martyr is okay. And I said, no, I prefer just to go to Galway for the treatment. So it all happened very, Everything very Everything is nice. working out very well. Absolutely. But listen, and I know you, are you sort is it arthritis or Parkinson's is written somewhere? Well, as well if you want to know, <laughs> do you want to know? I had my neck broken by the RUC, which right. I didn't realise at the time. Right. And so arthritis set in, which is the reason why my head shakes. Okay. So it's kind of like those little screws, what are they called, the dobber mines or something or other, uh, and they kind of got loose. Right. So and an old war wound. Yeah. And, yeah. Then an old, and then at Greenham Common, I got another old war wound. Okay. And then I fell off my bicycle. And that was another wound. And Which I is didn't relatively innocent next to all the others. Really, <laughs> absolutely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yes. absolutely. So and so I didn't realise. So now I have a wobbly head. Okay. And so my grandchildren are always worried because they look at me and they say, Grandma, is your head going to fall off? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, prison can't be a good idea then for you, is it really? It must, it must have been tough on you, was it? Not really. I just want to say one thing. Is women are not suited to these types of jails. Okay. It's a bloody waste of time, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of everything. Okay, and really they have to that? think of. Well, I think that women, is, we like to do things, we like to make a bit of money, we like to look after our children, because when a woman goes into jail, who is suffering? It's all her children, it's her family. When a man goes into jail, she's free. <laughs> <laughs> And tell me, what kind of women did you, did you meet in there? Beautiful, beautiful women. They're all going to be watching. You are all gorgeous. There isn't a woman in there who is not absolutely gorgeous. They are shining angels okay. flying around the place, and they are wonderful. OK. I mean, they're, they're probably really not that angelic now that they ended up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but it's true. I yeah. mean, they are absolutely... And did they know about you and why you were there? And did they oh, they you certainly did in the beginning. Yes, they said, what are you doing in here? How dare you be in here when you can be released? If you think you're Nelson Mandela, he was there for 25 years before he changed the world. You, three months, and you think you're going to change the world? Get real. Go home, get your little pussy cat, put him on the lap and watch the television and don't come in here tormenting us. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. in fairness, Margaret, yes. you could kind of have avoided going to prison. You had to sign a bond, wasn't it, to say you wouldn't go ah, back yes, into Ah, yes, but the bond was to say that everything is nice and proper in Shannon, that there is no criminality, there's no murder, there's no assassinations. It's just to be like Enda Kenny, to be complicit. Now, listen, Brendan, we are meant to be part of Europe, we have our constitution, we have the Nuremberg principles, and all of them say, if we do not speak out about it, we ourselves are complicit. Okay. No, there, no, we should point out, there are no murders or assassinations going on in Shannon. You, you would maintain that there are planes that are involved in rendition I am saying, through Shannon. Uh, excuse me, we yeah. had Obama, and we had it all on the television. They were all in their, in their control room watching the assassination of bin Laden. Now, that was it. Okay. We saw them grinning away. What is that? That is state 
assassination. Okay, I suppose a lot of people would say it's taking out a very dangerous terrorist. Well, I'm afraid we are meant to have international law. If you're taking out a dangerous terrorist, what you want is to put them on trial. What you don't do is take him out of his bed, shoot him and his wife and his children. Okay. And, and have Shannon the black connect, seals coming. And have to the that black house. seals coming. Now, the other thing is the reason why I'm wearing the suit, mm -hmm. Guantanamo Bay, we know about the prisoners. Now, there is absolute proof now that there have been rendition flights going through Shannon with prisoners on. What does the government do? Why can't okay, they just well, the admit... The government would say that that hasn't happened, that they have, no, they have no, looked they have into not, it no, and sought no, assurances. No, no I'm that. afraid now is that there is absolute evidence that there have been at least two flights going through. It's all there in documentation. Why can't the government say, I'm sorry, we made a terrible mistake? We do not want to have these kind of things going through Shannon. Okay, so you think the government are lying to us about this, yes? I, wouldn't, I think that they are absolutely in denial in the same way as the whistleblowers. I mean, look at them. When Colin gets up and says the whistleblowers are disgusting, and what is shatter and whatever, you know. I mean, we are living in a very, very strange kind of world where why can they not speak the truth? That's all we want. If they want to have Shannon as a military airport, say that. But the other thing, Brendan, the one thing that should not happen, they should not use civilians and allow the military to hide behind civilians. I mean, I've, I've been a Shannon, as you yourself have. Mm -hmm. I've seen an Aer Lingus plane, I've seen a military plane, and I've seen an Aer Lingus plane on the runway, and they're all going off together. Now... So you think they're using Aer Lingus planes as camouflage for military planes? Is well, that what you're saying? Well, I wouldn't put it wrongly as that. Yeah. What shall I say is that they're so bloody careless. Okay. That they now, don't think about careless, it. So yes. what you did, what you did um, yeah. you uh, uh, and... And, uh, and Niall. Niall Farrell, yes. yes. So you, you went on the runway, and it yes. almost sounds as if you had difficulty getting arrested Absolutely. on the day, yes? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, because you see the thing, when you think about the runway, this is where, if we want to talk about crimes, planes come in, planes go off, and this is where the crimes... So that is the centre of the criminality. So there Niall and I, so we decide we're going to do our little gesture, which is during International Week, so all over the world, people are protesting about drones. Now, drones, are they coming through Shannon? We don't know. Why can't they search the planes? So that was part of it. So there we are on the runway. Okay, so you don't, you don't know that drones are coming through Shannon, but you were protesting in case drones we are coming through Shannon. We don't know that they're not, they're not coming. Like, yes. but... Why can't they go and examine the planes and tell us whether they are drones? Or not? That's all we're asking okay, for. Okay, so that was, that was what your protest was So that's was what about. we were doing. So you went on the runway. And so we're on the runway, and nothing happens. And we look at each other and say, oh, and were you, you were wearing your Absolutely. oranges, the new black And, and, and nothing's happening. So what should we do? We might as well get off again. And so we toddle back again. And then our supporters, they say, no, get back, get back. And John Maguire rings up and he says, I just would like to inform you that there are two peace activists on the runway. And your woman comes along and says, and who is speaking? And he says, John Maguire, could you spell that? So John is spelling out, could you spell it again? If they were so concerned about it, you would think two people on the runway, wouldn't they immediately, you know, get a jeep coming along, throw it out of the way, clear the airway? Mm -hmm. Nonsense. It is this whole legend thing. So a little you girl comes think, along. I have a theory on it. It's obviously oh, yes. been slightly embarrassing for, for them that they had yeah. to put a 79-year-old uh, lady with cancer into yes. prison. It didn't look good, did it? No, no. You don't think that they didn't want to arrest you, that maybe they were hoping if they didn't Oh, yeah, that's the reason that... why we had to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, I mean, we exposed a security risk, and not only that, Brendan, you would have thought, after having gone through Gate 6 the first time, they must have known when the build-up to the Syrian war that we're going to do something. Uh -huh. And so we trot in exactly the same gate and trot onto the right, a bit more efficient this time. Okay. Where are the cameras? Okay, so you, you don't even have the element of surprise anymore and they still can't catch you. Uh, no. And, and Margareta, are you going to go back again? Well, I mean, Brendan, if you and I would like to have a little date on the runway, have a little <laughs> picnic, and then we won't have to be put into court and be complicit for murder and all those nasty things. I can't happening. take nine and a half weeks out to go in making... Oh, you would, uh, you, you would uh, not uh, go into that. No, no, listen, don't you worry. It's all very pleasant and all very nice. Is it very so, nice in there? You really? Be, you be Mount Joy. You, can, you play football. It sounds like the men's, but... <laughs> you know what, Margareta? I honestly think I'd be better off in the women's prison. That'd be more my speed in there. I'd say the men's might be a bit I, hardcore I, for I, me. 
No, funnily enough, it's a women's prison is worse. Is it? It's infinitely worse because all things go for the men. They don't want a women's prison. They never wanted a women's prison. They don't know how to deal with the women's prison. So we don't have any officers. We don't have anything. We're treated as second-class citizens. The men, they have all these different types of open prisons, training programs, right. able to move around from one to the other. But you, you, did, you were doing activities and stuff in there, weren't you? Yeah, Arts no, but that's inside. That but the women are not allowed out. So you can be a long-term prisoner and you're never allowed out. You don't, have, you, you don't know about money. You don't know about shopping. While the men, if they're in for two years, they can go out on training. They're there just the same way as you and me, going in training, coming okay. back in. But the women so they aren't. need to rethink the women's uh, There is gender discrimination really. there, which really, somebody should bring it up to the equality things. You might do it yourself. You've been known to make a point about things now and again. Maybe, maybe that could be a, Well, I, th battle. I think we'd, we'd have to have a bit of a sport. The other thing I'm going to do, you know, it's fascinating that once you get into all this human rights, you're kind of looking around all the time and finding out. It kind of opens one's eyes. Anxiety and stress because they're not p p prison officers. Now, that is, tor that is mental torture. Yeah, okay, okay. You know, now, as well as the discrimination. Now, that's another crime that One thing that happened while you were yeah. in there that caused a little bit of a, a fuss outside that I'm sure you were aware of was that you had a visit from the Auras, which it yeah. must have felt like a great gesture of support to you. I know Sab Sabina, the president's oh, wife, is an oh, old no, friend. Listen, I've what? known Sabina for a long time. Yeah. She's in the theatre, she's in my plays and whatever have you. She comes down. Yeah. And, and not only that, but... But you did not feel, symbolically, it was nice as well that somebody came no, from I the No, I didn't. I thought that was very nice of Sabina as a friend to come along. Yeah. And come along. And the other thing that I thought and was very nice... And he's an old friend of yours as well, but I suppose he couldn't come, could he, given his Well, he's not as much of an old friend as Sabina. Okay. Who's right. very warm, emotional, method, actress you know with was the... she a method actress oh yes. she was she was with Deirdre O'Connell at the Focus Theatre right you know and I was, you know she feels a lot and not only that but on Saint, the eve of St. Patrick she sent down a most beautiful bowl of shamrock and to, to the prison yeah lovely and that was absolutely beautiful because I think you've got to understand once you're in jail which I hadn't realised you're actually excluded so they go on about we're all meant to be cherished we're all meant to be yeah. equal and St. Patrick say and inside the jail, it's as if it was an ordinary jail. Yeah, yeah I don't know I mean, what you mean, but I suppose is that half the point of being in prison, that you are kind of excluded from Well, it shouldn't be, because yeah. what are, aren't we meant to be a Christian country and isn't one of the things where Bob's has been kind to prisoners, visiting prisoners and cherishing... I think it's a bloody disgrace, honestly, that actually that we are told to Christmas, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, nothing happens in there. OK, all right. You know. do you, I did hear you were making teddy bears in there, were you? Uh, not only that, but I have a little teddy bear for your you daughter. Have a teddy bear yes. For me. Now oh, let me let me that. show you this little teddy bear. <laughs> Thank you. And this is your daughter. And this has been very much a collective experience because yeah. once you're in jail and you do something, and somebody says, "Oh, put a little bracelet." I see. Okay. And put a little green thing. And look right. at his little hat. So all, all, all the female prisoners added to this? Absolutely, okay. yes. <laughs> Margareta. And I didn't really like your two daughters, but I'll knit you another one and send it to your other Will daughter. Will you do, please? I said, okay. now what colour would she like? You can knit another one the next time you're back inside, Absolutely. maybe. Absolutely, and yeah. not only that, but if I go in for longer, I will knit one for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, before you go, your next court date is in June, is that right? Yeah, June and the 25th. For, for a similar offence. Absolutely is there, right. Yeah, which I okay. hope this time we'll, we'll do the court case a bit better before. Okay, so you think you could, you, what you're hoping to win this time is your right to be. Yes, that, because that, this time is very important. But when we went there, it was the Syrian war. And I'm glad to say, Brendan, that us being on the runway along with everyone else, remember the House of Commons, for the, they hadn't voted what, since the 17th century against war. All in America, we were part of that collective movement of stopping war. We stopped the okay. war in Syria. Now, okay, but we should say that we wouldn't be encouraging people to go onto the runway because it is very dangerous as well, isn't it? And, and like uh, no. the minister has said, it puts people's lives at risk. If, Absolutely not. Yeah. Can I just say this that whole thing is a myth because there are windows. And not only that, but you have the air controllers and they should know what's happening. Now, on the myth oh, know, of the business... Jesus. Listen, I wouldn't trust those guys at the best of times. I know, like, don't, because look at the With people plane. on the runway but as I'm well. just going to tell you is that there was time so up in the plane, I happened to a friend of mine's daughter was on the plane. And the pilot very nicely said, look, we're going to be delayed for a little bit because there are two peace activists on the runway. 
Now, did the passengers all get up and say how disgraceful it was or whatever have you? No, they sat there quietly while we were removed. That is what is known as having a dignified conversation with protest. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Margareta Darcy. <laughs> Me in Cedar. Oh, sorry, you want How to say are you? Yes. And about the soup, fantastic soup makers, fantastic salad makers, and the shop. It's about time it had good, healthy food. <laughs> okay. And I just want to say about the little babies. Little Patrick is seven weeks old, little John is five weeks old, and little uh, Abby who will be coming out of her mother's womb in four weeks' time, and she will be waiting. Okay. And we have two dogs, and we have another dog, Emily, and she's having a baby, six little puppies at the end of April. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, to the women. Margaret, wait a second, we'll be going to the break. <laughs> And can I just say that if there is anyone there in, in, in the women's prison in Mountjoy who wasn't mentioned, we're sorry, and you're included as well. But I think she got most of you in there. Competition time for you at home now.